All right, welcome back to Wolf Dog Empire. Today we're going to do a overview on Valhalla Summons. Is it a good one? Is it not? Not bad. Uh, Frigg. She, uh, she used to be, what, top 5? She's still top 30, and with so many heroes out there that are really, really good, top 30 is still sensational. Frigg, I don't even have her. I wish I did. I wish I get her someday. Freya costume. Freya's a good hero with the costume. She's even better. She's got the Vanaheim Realm. Costume bonus goes up to 5, 5, 10, and 5. Attack, 793, really good. Defense, 800, really good. Health, 1488, really good. Mana speed fast. She summons a Raven minion for each ally with 25% HP and 15% attack inherited from the caster. Raven minion gives plus 180% attack to all its owners, other minions. That's pretty good when you can use it strategically. All allies get plus 36% chance to dodge special skills that deal damage for four turns. So now we got costume Freya, uh, a really good dodger. And she already has these great stats. And she's throwing those minions out there and then she's giving other minions uh, plus 180% attack. So if you can put her in a team with other minion makers, and then she, Freya's going to make the other minions uh, a lot stronger. So Freya, really good. Really good hero. I wish I'd get her someday. Um, let me see. Tyr's not... He's okay. Sif, uh, she's pretty good. She's a counterattacker. Uh, one of the soul exchanges, she was offered up for an exchange for 25 stars, which is the most they'll ask you for at this time. So Sif, really good 5 star. Scotty, really good 5 star. And now they got a costume with a costume bonus of 5, 5, 10, 5. Really good uh, costume. Heimdall. Uh, not the best healer reviver, but I don't have any five star uh, revivers, so I wish I had Heimdall. Uh, he's he's pretty good. Lord Loki, I don't have Lord Loki. Um, I wish I did. He was offered up in the Soul Exchange, in exchange for twenty five stars. I should have pulled the trigger on Lord Loki. Um, Lord Loki, what makes Lord Loki uh, super, super good is that, especially if you think that this game is going to produce even better, stronger 5 stars in the future that are better than Season 1 5 stars, better than Season 2 5 stars, better than Season 3 5 stars. If you think they're just going to keep getting better and better and more dominant... With costumes, with two times costumes. In the future, they could even do three times costumes. Three X, three X costumes. Or they just come up with, with brand new heroes that are just so dominant. Where Lord Loki, he is going to uh, always be good because he copies their specials. So if you have... Uh, you're going up against uh, Alfreik, and you think Alfreik is an awesome uh, hero, and you wish you had Alfreik. Well, if you have Lord, Lord Loki, you can go up against Alfreik, copy Alfreik at mana speed average instead of uh, slow. And so you can uh, Alfreik, Alfreik. <laughs> so... Um, and then any other hero that, that comes out to be even better and better in the future, Lord Loki can just copy them, can copy their special, throw it at them, 
And the stronger their special, the enemy specials are, the stronger Lord Loki is. So um, that's the thing about Lord Loki is, um, you, you, so you definitely want him. So I wish I had him. I would have leveled him up uh, immediately, and um, I don't have him yet. Right, Asuker, uh, he's pretty good there. He's a really strong healer. Plus, uh, he makes the nature shields, the green shields have a plus 64% attack, so that comes in uh, very handy. Gullin Percy is a really good uh, four-star healer. And now with the costume, with that costume bonus of 3361, I have noticed that when the costume bonuses are only 3361 instead of 5555, it's because it's a really good hero already, and they don't want to go up to 5555. It will be too overpowering, so... Uh, Gullin Bursty, I see that with Wilbur. So uh, if you see those uh, costumes that only give a 3361, it's probably because the regular uh, hero is already really, really good and they couldn't give him a 5 5 10 5 because it'll make him too overpowering. So be happy when you get those uh, costume Gullin Bursty. I do have Gullin Bursties, but I don't have the costume yet. I, I hope I get them someday. And there is Alfreich, uh, a great purple tank. If you don't have Xenofold, uh, Alfreich is an excellent... Um, um, I, mean, I mean, you can put Alfreich as a tank, but also um, as flank. So Alfreich is a really good um, five-star, making Valhalla really good uh, summons portal. All more for a four-star. I wish I had him. Um, for a while there, I did not have any green elemental down. So when I was going up against, um, those blue Titans, I was struggling there. I was using Dogoon as the attack down or, uh, defensive down, but I was missing Almor. I, I still don't have them, but I just got Phileas Fog. So I'm upgrading Phileas Fog. So I'm happy about that. But for four star, this hero is really good. Brynhild, uh, she's pretty good four star, uh, especially for buffs. Kavasir, three star, really good for a, for a three star. Baldur with his plus thousand HP, not bad. Lady Loki. Kev John, not bad. Green was a good healer for a three star for those three star raid tournaments. Sudri is a superstar three star. In the uh, three star raid tournament, Sudri is really good, especially in the. Um, because he's slow, so if you're going up in the rush rate tournament, he's really good. Sumli, also pretty good. Bjorn, also uh, pretty good in the three star rate tournament. How you doing? She's not bad. Miss is really good for a four star, for those four star rate tournaments. Jot's pretty good there. Like Red right Asuker, but in, um, in blue. Plus 64% attack. On the shield, so. Oh, then I did pick him up. I wasn't able to level him him up yet, but um, he's pretty good in yellow there. Fenrir do have, but I got some other blue five stars, so I I, I don't I don't have any materials uh, on him to bring him up to four eighty. I um, I leave I'm gonna leave him at around uh, three seventy. But this guy there against minions, he's good. Also, strategically, he'll deal 640 damage if the target has less than 50% uh, health remaining. So that's a good one to have sometimes, strategically. Norns, pretty good. Uh, five star there. Um, 
against those mythic titans she was offered up in the soul exchange also so not bad barrow's pretty good bevica she's a good healer there So with Dorns, Alfreich, Odin, Jot, Bjorn, Sumley, Sudri, Greevil, Lord Loki, because here, Almor, Alfreich, uh, Cosm, Gullen, Bursty, Radisuker, Lord Loki, of, of course, especially Lord Loki, uh, Heimdall. Costum Scotty, Sif, Frigg, Tyr, and Costum Freya. Valhalla is a pretty good uh, summons there. I still like the Underwild. Um, has a lot of excellent heroes also. But Valhalla is definitely a really good summons also. So for sure if you have some, um, some extra gems that you would like to get some uh, at a chance at a pretty good hero there. Uh, Valhalla is a, it's a good summons for it. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, Wolf Dog Empires, leave a comment. Let me know which heroes um, from Valhalla you were able to summons and which ones you wish to have in the in the future. And uh, let us know a couple other summons that you think uh, are a little better than Valhalla. Thank you much, and uh, hit a, hit the like button there and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you much. Bye bye.